We're getting excited for this weekend. Of course, it is Easter weekend, but we've got some big changes on the way, Candy. That's right, Alex. Happy Thursday, everyone. We got wet weather on the way, and I'll break it down for you uh, in a little bit. So I want to show you what it looks like in downtown Bakersfield on this beautiful, quiet Thursday morning. So take a look. The temperature right now is uh, 57 degrees. Humidity is a 67 percent, and the winds are calm for now. Around Kern County, let's take you north to the Lano. 52 degrees. It's only 42 in Fraser Park, and you're looking at 46 in Mojave, 58 out in Richmond. Our high for today should be around 66 degrees. Yesterday was the warmest day of the week, with temperatures climbing up to the upper 70s, 76. So today we're going to be at least 10 degrees um, cooler. So. Um, and, and we're going to be below average. The average is 72, and the record set back in 1893, 88 degrees. The sun will rise at 648, but it will set at 715. So the winds will be an issue as we head into the eastern part of Kern County today, especially near the Kern River Valley and our mountains and desert locations. Winds gusting upwards of 50 miles per hour. You see that wind advisory in place until tomorrow. And that's when we're really tracking those big changes. So I want to show you if you're traveling north, get ready to deal with winter weather. It's going to be winter wonderland, especially along the Sierra. In the higher elevations, they're expecting heavy snow, not only today, tomorrow, and all the way through the weekend, with um, up to two feet of snow in the higher elevations near South Lake Tahoe. So, yes, you have to be uh, ready to deal with that. So, what can you expect? Gradually cool it today. That is just the beginning of a cooling trend that will stick around through the weekend. We're tracking not one, but two systems. The first one is already making its way uh, through Northern California today, and it's creating some instability for us in cooler weather in some light drizzle, but overall it's going to remain mainly to the north. The big storm is going to make its way into Kern County tomorrow and it's going to linger through Monday. And that's when we'll see heavy rain, snow, and also windy condition, conditions. So you can see as we take a look at the satellite radar, you can see some light drizzle moving through the northern part of Kern County. A lot of it is not even making it to the ground. However, um, don't be surprised if you walk out the door, if you see some light drizzle. All of it is part of that bigger system moving through the north right now. And it will remain mostly to the north throughout the day. But take a look. By tomorrow, we see that secondary system is going to tap into a lot of moisture from the Pacific. It's going to get widespread as we head into the weekend. And yes, we're tracking a lot of rain. How much rain? Well, let's break it down. This model, it wants to give us, well, almost three quarters of an inch of rain for the valley floor. Higher amounts for areas like Lake Isabella over an inch and a half over two and a half inches of rain in areas like Pine Mountain Club and Fraser Park. That's a lot of rain, so we'll see how it plays out. In the meantime, today, look for temperatures in the upper 60s for Fresno, 62 in Sacramento. Air quality will be good today with an AQI of 43. Pollen It's going to be high, so make sure you got that allergy medicine handy. And I want to take you all the way to Easter Sunday as we're expecting some isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two. It looks like we might get a little bit of clearing between to noon and 3 p.m. In that should be just enough time for the kiddos to go egg hunting. So that's good news. But then more rain arriving by the um, afternoon and evening hours. So as far as today, look for temperatures in the upper 60s. Up in the mountains, it's going to be breezy with temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s. Out in the desert, look for 70 out in Rich Chris. So looking ahead, here's a seven-day outlook for you. And once again, we're looking for wet weather Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then guess what? We dry out by early next week, and then we're going to be reaching almost the low 80s by Wednesday of next week. So that's a look at your forecast. Alex, back to you.